Hey, welcome back to Ways Learning. What are we doing today? Well, today, unfortunately, we're pick, fixing a uh, irrigation well pump that's not working. I came over here. Um, I tried my irrigation system. If you listen, you'll hear it. So you hear this little thud. That tells me that the pump relay's coming on, but the well's not coming. So I'm going to go out and check to see if it has power out to the well and if it does out to the pump and if it does then it probably tells me that the pump's not working the pump's bad and i gotta replace it so you got these bolts here you gotta take all of them off and then mine actually just came straight off and then in here you got the wires so mine's a two wire system but you've got a red a green and a black you always want to make sure your power's off with the tester and then turn the breaker off as well and then down in here, you can kind of see mine's got a handle um, that you can grab. It's still rusted on, but it's a handle that can help you pull it up. A lot of them will have a, you got to use a 10 inch, 10 foot pole, 8 foot pole with a male adapter on it that kind of locks in, screws into a thing that you can pull out. But I'll show you what I got when I get it out. This is down in the hole, and this is the shoe on the back side. And this just slides in like this into that pipe casing to hold this in place. Now, in theory, you should just reach down and pull this out, unhook the wires, and you pull out all your. Once we got the pump out of the ground, we just took a couple of pipe wrenches to separate and unlock the uh, polyurethane pipe that was running down to the pump and then we'll use that same screw on to attach it back to the new one. Okay we got black and black and a, and a green ground going to black and red will make you dead that's uh, 110 going each side so to make 220 and then green is just the uh, ground and so we're just going to cut those because we're going to put a new pump on. wires are cut on the old pump. Now we're simply screwing the pump back on to the polyurethane pipe, just threading it on. And then once it's in place, then we'll come back and reconnect the wires and make sure it comes on and we've got power to it. And then we'll put it back in the hole. Now we're connecting up the wires and we're going to use these little uh, metal kind of tubing and you basically stick both ends of the exposed wire. Now that we have the wires crimped down, we're simply putting the <clears throat> bubble wrap or shrink wrap tubing around it. You can use a lighter. We're going to use a blowtorch. You just got to be careful you don't get uh, crazy and blow through your uh, wiring with it or burn it. And then we're just going to tighten down the um, nut at the end of it one more time to make sure it's secure. And then we simply put it in the hole. When you're going in the hole, you just want to be careful that you don't catch any of the wiring or anything on the side that's wrapped around the pipe because there is wiring running all along the um, polyurethane pipe. So you just slowly put it in, be careful. And then at the very end, you're going to make sure that that um, end sits into that little saddle or that little horseshoe area 
so it gets nice and snug because that's how the pump is going to deliver the water up that pipe and into the uh, side where it hooks into another hose that delivers it to the valve box. And that's it. That's how you uh, basically put in a well. It should take you about mm, probably an hour if you have everything there on site. We ran into a few difficulties with wiring. We had to rewire um, the wire from the house to the pump because they originally installed uh, wasn't really water resistant wiring so we redid that we also found out that our um, pump relay was burnt so we went ahead and replaced it and that's not too hard that's simply a matter of taking out about four screws and making sure you know where the wiring goes and putting it back like you said you want to shut the power off and then as you can see here we got the sprinklers going. Everything's back working fine and we're off and running. So thanks for watching.